Ladies and gentlemen, we're on the campus of Pike Liberal Arts School here in Troy, Alabama, and we're going to introduce the 2021 Pike Liberal Art Patriots. I know they'll open up on August the 20th against Escambia Academy here on Delaney Curvin Field. And our first football player is number 13, your name? Case Sharika. All right, who are your parents? Uh, Mike and Jackie Sharika. And you are a senior? Yes, sir. Uh, what uh, position did you play? I play wide receiver and DB. Okay, uh, have y'all elected team captains or what, what are your expectations uh, this year? Um, our expectations are to win another state championship and become the best team that we can be and help each other. And one play at a time and it starts with the Scambia Academy on August the 20th. And that'll be a seven o'clock kick? I think so. Yeah. Seven o'clock. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, next up we have number 77 and your name? Bubba Dean. Bubba Dean. And your size, you're about 6'4", six, 6'5"? Six, five. Six, five. Okay, who are your parents, Bubba? John and Lisa Dean. Okay, uh, you're a senior. What positions did you play? Right tackle. Right tackle. Well, we're looking forward to this season, and thank you for coming, and have a good day. Our next player is number five, and your name is? Cameron Baker. Cameron Baker. And your positions are? Running back and linebacker. Running back and linebacker. Uh, Cameron, uh, so you had a pretty good year last year, and I know you want to take it one play at a time. Anything you'd like to, to say to the audience out there? Not much. We're just going to have try to have a good season the best we can, be better than we were last year, and win state. Okay. Well, thank you. All right, we have number two. Number two, what's your name? Uh, Casey Eubanks. Casey Eubanks. All right, Casey, what positions do you play? Uh, I play quarterback. Quarterback. Will you play anything on defense or? Uh, I'll play a little bit of safety, but that, that's about it. Okay. Um, and you'll be a quarterback. Who are your parents? Uh, Brent and Wendy Eubanks. Brent and Wendy Eubanks. Well, thank you for coming and have a good season. Good. Our next player is number three. Number three. And your name? Zakevian Pennington. Zakevian Pennington. And who are your parents, Zakevian? Renisha Spite and Pico Pennington. What was your mother's name? Renisha Spike. Renisha Spike. And what positions did you play? Running back and DB. Running back and defensive back. All right, thank you. The next player, uh, we have number 12. Number 12. And your name? Jeremiah Weeks. Jeremiah Weeks. And who are your parents? Mark and Susan Weeks. Mark and Susan Weeks. And you are a senior. Yes, sir. And uh, what positions do you play? Wide receiver. Wide receiver. Well, thank you for coming. Good luck, number 12. Yes, sir. All right. Number 44, and your name? Landon Johnson. Landon Johnson, and your parents are? Doug and Kelly Johnson. Doug and Kelly Johnson. What position did you play? Defensive end. Defensive end, okay, thank you. Have a good season. I've seen this fellow before. Is this number six? Number six, and your name? Aaron Greenwood Jr. Aaron Greenwood Jr., and your parents? Aaron Greenwood and Jessica Berry. Okay, Aaron Greenwood and Jessica Berry, and you're a senior. And what positions do you play? Running back and slot receiver. Running back and slot receiver. Well, have a great year. Good to see you again. And we have number 55. And your name? Uh, Frankie Jeffcoat. Frankie Jeffcoat. And I know a little bit, just a little bit about Frankie. And uh, what positions do you play, Frankie? I play defensive end. Defensive end. And your parents are? Eddie and Jody Jeffcoat. Eddie and Jody Jeffcoat. A little bit of history about this. Your Grandmother, one of your grandmothers, Miss Frances Ketchum, was my uh, algebra teacher oh, at Goshen yes, High School. Okay. But I uh, want to wish you the best of luck this year. Congratulations. And you are a senior, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, thank right. you. Thank you. Thank you, Frank. And we have number 76. How we do it? And your name? Jamarion Fuller. Jamarion Fuller. And what positions do you play, Jamarion? Uh, defensive tackle and offensive tackle. Uh, defensive tackle and offensive tackle. And your parents are? Veronica Smiley and uh, Jamali Fuller. Okay. Well, thank you for coming and hope you have a great year and good luck against the Scambia Academy. And we have number seven. Number seven. How you doing? Your name? Gavin Williams. Gavin Williams. And your parents are? Alicia Wynn and Kevin Ortega. Okay. And um, what positions do you play? Linebacker and DN. Linebacker and defensive end. I know you're looking forward to a great year, and you are a senior. He's another senior. How many seniors do we have on the team? Do you know? 
about 12, about a dozen. Well, good luck to you. It's right around the corner. Do we have another junior? Any more seniors? All right, we got a number, another senior, number 60. How we doing? All right, look at the camera. And your name is? Dominique Pennington. Dominique Pennington. Who are your parents? Uh, Erica Jones and Joe Pennington. Okay, Miss Erica. Uh, and what was your dad's first name? Joe. Joe. All right, what, you, what positions do you play again? Offensive line. Offensive line. And you're one of the seniors we have this year. Yes, sir. Well, good luck to you and best of luck. And they're, they're coming right around the corner. We got another senior. This is number eight. And your name is? Robert Williams. Robert Williams. And your parents are? Robert and Sandy Williams. Okay, and what position do you play? Quarterback. He's one of the quarterbacks. Well, good. Congratulations. Do you play anywhere on defense? Yes, sir. Safety. Safety. Okay, well, good luck to you. Thank you. All right, is this our first junior? All right, we've got a junior here, number 11. How are we doing? Look in the camera. And your name? Mario Davenport. Mario Davenport. All right, Mario, you, your positions are? Receiver. And receiver and defensive back. And your parents are? Tara and Mario Davenport. Tara and Mario Davenport. Congratulations on a great year last year, and good luck this year in all aspects. And we got number one, and your name is? Uh, Cade Renfro. Cade Renfro, number one. What position do you play, Cade? Uh, I play linebacker. Linebacker, and your parents are? Al and Laura Renfro. Al and Laura Renfro. Well, congratulations, and you're one of the juniors. How many juniors do we have? Um, I'm not really sure. Not sure? No, sir. Looks to me maybe 10 or 12. Well, have a good year, and uh, good luck against the Scambia. We got number 10, and your name is? Uh, Ian Foster. Ian Foster. Ian, who are your parents? Anthony and Tara Foster. Anthony and Tara. And what positions do you play? I play a wide receiver and DB. Wide receiver and defensive back. Good luck. It's right around the corner on August the 20th. It's the Scambia Academy. Number 52. How we do it? And your name? Look at the camera, please. Keith Williams. Keith Williams. And who are your parents? Robert and Shannon Williams. Robert and Shannon. 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 Okay. And what positions do you play? Offensive line, defensive line. Uh, specifically, what position on the offensive line? Guard. 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 Okay. And you are a junior. Yes, sir. All right. Well, thank you, and have a great year. And one play at a time. Number fifty-three. How right, we do it? Good. And uh, your name? Connor Jones. Connor Jones. All right, Connor, you are a junior. Who are your parents? Jessica and Barry Jones. Okay, and what positions do you play? Oh, wow. Offensive line. Well, good luck to you this year, and thank you for coming. And we have number 64. Number 64, your name? Davis Menifee. Davis Menifee. And your parents are? Chad and Heather Menifee. And what positions do you play? Guards and center. Guard and center, both guards, right yes, or left. Sir. So yes, you're sir. kind of versatile. Yes, sir. Well, good. Good luck to you. You're a junior, right? Yes, sir. All right, we got our next junior, number 25. Yes, and your name is? KC Bradford. KC Bradford. And what positions do you play, KC? Strong safety. Strong safety. Do you play anywhere on offense? I play sometimes on wide receiver. Okay, sir. And who are your parents? Uh, KC, Bra uh, David Bradford and Melissa Bradford, sorry. Your name's KC. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's KC. What is the K and the C stand for? It stands for <laughs> Kirkland Cole. Kirkland Cole. Well, Kirkland I had Cole to ask you that. Yes, now sir. you know what KC stands for. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Number 70. I've seen this fella before. How are we doing? Good. How about you? And your name? Colton Taylor. Colton Taylor. And your parents are? Amanda Taylor and Chad Taylor. Amanda and Chad. And what? Um, you're, in, you're a junior? Yes, sir. What position do you play? Defensive tackle. Defensive tackle. Well, have a good year. Good luck to you. Thank you. Our next player is number 32. Slide over a little bit. Your first name? Davis Kilcrease. Davis Kilcrease. And your parents are? Adam and Lauren Kilcrease. And what position do you play? Linebacker. And you're another junior? Yes, sir. So I think we'll have about a dozen or so juniors. Are you the last junior in the pile? We got two more. We got two more. Yes, sir. All right. Thank good you. luck. All right. Number 22. I believe he may be a cowboy. And uh, he's got a nice belt buckle on here. I don't know if you can see it. What's your yes. first name? I mean, your name? Owen Law. Owen Law. Yes, sir. All right. What positions do you play? Linebacker. Linebacker. Do you play anywhere on offense? No, sir. All right. Who are your parents? Fred Law and Tammy Redman. Okay. Good to meet you. Nice to meet Good you. luck to you. Yes, sir. And we got number 40. 
I believe he is uh, Snyder. Go ahead and give him your name. My name is Braden Snyder. All right, slide over a little bit. Look at the camera real good. Who are your parents? Robin and Tracy Snyder. Robin and Tracy Snyder. Yes, sir. And what positions are you playing, Braden? Long snapper. He's a long snapper. And I understand you're going to a camp this weekend? Yes, sir. Where will that be? In Biloxi, Mississippi. Biloxi, Mississippi. Well, good luck to you. Thanks. Have a great year. Yes, Number 19, you're a first sophomore? Yes, sir. This starts our sophomore class. And um, we'll open up the season against uh, Escambia Academy here on the campus of Pike Liberal Arts. And that will be a 7 o'clock kick on August the 20th. It's right around the corner. Your name? Cooper Lindsay. Cooper Lindsay, and who are your parents? Uh, Chip and Cecily Lindsay. Okay, and uh, what positions did you play? I play receiver. He's a receiver. Well, thank you. Good luck to you. Our next sophomore is number 20. And your name? Markellis Hobby. Markellis Hobby. And what position did you play? Uh, linebacker and running back. He's a linebacker and running back. And who are your parents? Uh, Daniel Wheeler and, Mar and Michael Hobby. Okay. Thank you for coming and have a good year. We have number 56 will be next. Uh, how we doing? All right, and your name is? Tanner Tyson. Tanner Tyson. What position do you play, Tanner? Uh, defensive end. He's a defensive end. Uh, who are your parents? Uh, Michelle Tyson. Tanner Tyson. Okay, thank you. Have a good year. And we got number 14 with us. And that's a pretty good hand shake right there. Yes, sir. And your name? Casey Morgan. Casey Morgan, who are your parents? Ron and Kim Morgan. Ron and Kim Morgan. And Kim Morgan. Yes, and what positions did you play? I played defensive back and wide receiver. Defensive back and wide receiver. Good luck to you. This yes, is the sophomore class. Now we have number 15. Okay. And your name? Pruitt Vaughn. Pruitt Vaughn. And uh, who are your parents? Uh, Matt and Amanda Vaughn. And what positions did you play? Linebacker. Linebacker. All right, thank you. All right, next player is number 16. How we doing? And your name? Uh, Rhodes Baker. Rhodes Baker. Uh, who are your parents, Rhodes? Norm and Betsy Baker. Okay, what position do you play? Um, a wideout. He's a wideout. All right, thank you. Our next sophomore is number 17. Number 17, and your name? Dawson Bradford. Dawson Bradford. So you got a brother named KC? Yes, sir. Okay. And your parents are? David and Melissa Bradford. David and Melissa. And what positions do you play? Quarterback. He's a quarterback. And you're a sophomore. Uh, I'm a freshman. He's a freshman. I'm sorry. Are the rest of y'all freshmen? Okay. Okay. Okay, good. All right. Freshman. Number 80. Yes, sir. Okay. First name and last name. Cade Brookins. Cade Brookins. And what classification are you? Wide receiver. What, I mean, you're a wide receiver, but what class will you be in? Uh, 25, uh, freshman. He's a freshman. Okay, so you're a ninth grader. So for a freshman, you're pretty tall fellow. Yes, sir. And uh, who are your parents? Adam Brookins and Emily Brookins. Okay, and um, you're going, your position again is wide receiver. wide receiver. Well, thank you for coming. Have a great year. Uh, number four. Uh, we'll do it. Your name? Jackson Booth. Jackson Booth. And you are in what grade? I'm in the ninth grade. Who are your parents? Carrie and Kevin Booth. And what positions do you play? I play wide receiver and safety. Okay. Now you have a varsity schedule. Will y'all have a JV schedule? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you know when that first game is for the JV? I think it's the week after our first varsity game. Okay. Who will it be against? Will it, will it be here or there? It'll be here. It'll be here. And when your coaches come on, I'll ask them specifically about the JV schedule. I think that game's the 24th. Okay. That's a Monday or Tuesday, probably. All right, next we have number, is this 65? Let's get it in there a little bit better. We're still on? Okay. Number 65, your name? Brody Marsh. Brody? Yes, sir. Brody Marsh, what positions did you play? Defensive tackle. He's a defensive tackle, and you are a? Eighth grader. Eighth grader. Who are your parents again? Uh, Michelle Marsh and Travis Marsh. All right, let's look at the camera, and you are a defensive lineman? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, have a great year. Thank you for coming. Thank you. And we have a number 18. And your name is? I'm Braylon Jackson. And what grade are you in, Braylon? Once an eighth grade. He'll be an eighth grader. And what positions did you play? Play running back and cornerback. Uh, He's a running back and cornerback. Who are your parents? The Shearer Thornton and James Jackson. Okay. Well, thank you for being on the show. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back in just a few minutes. Those are the varsity players for Pike Liberal Arts for the upcoming 20. 
2021 season. They'll open up here in Troy against Escambia Academy, and we'll be right back with our coaches. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back on the campus of, of Pike Liberal Arts. We have the head coach, Mario White, with us. Uh, coach White, congratulations on last year. And if you will, just give us a brief synopsis of last year, and then we'll talk about this year, if you will. Oh, well, last year um, was obviously my first year coaching. Um, it was a, I had a lot of great people to come in and help me out. Uh, first, it started with Mr. Birkin administration. Uh, I, if I didn't have the support, it would never happen. I also had some great coaches to come in last year, and a great group of kids that was willing to work, and, and the good Lord had favor on us, and we was able to, to succeed, but it's just the beginning of our plan, what we're trying to do. Yes, sir. Well, you open up this season at home on the 20th of August against Escambia Academy. What do you expect from them? Well, Escambia, man, Coach Brown is an outstanding coach, and actually he was one of the guys that really helped me through last year. Um, they have an amazing group of kids. They have a very strong basis coming back. Those guys averaged 40 points a game last year. We got a big task ahead of us with two new coordinators and kids coming in. So um, it's going to be a big boy football game August 20th. Okay, how many players do we have on the varsity level, Coach? Right now we have 41 players at varsity this year. 41. And then you have, you'll have a JV schedule? Yes, sir. And uh, is that said, or when will that first game be for them? Um, I think the first game of JV is a week after um, our, our initial game against Escambia. But we have an eight-game schedule on JV. We also have an eight-game schedule on Pee Wee. So we have a full slate of games this first year post-COVID. So um, we have a lot of young guys in a program right now, and it's, it's, I'm really excited to see those guys play. Well, Coach, you, you're talking about community support, and you're talking about school support, the administration, but the cheerleaders, the band, the students, you're in a wonderful place, and I know you're thankful that you're having that kind of support, and Friday night is right, the 20th is right around the corner. It is. And you're having to deal with some heat issues now, just like everyone else. It's, well, or any, go ahead. well um, the deal about that is, man, Pike Little Arts has been a blessing for my family and I. And Coach Katie and Coach Hannah, it always started with cheerleaders. Um, they got the summer off right. Those girls, they come up here and they grind every day. And, of course, they won the state championship again. But, you know, um, we got nationals on our mind. They, they're going back to nationals, and they plan on having a big year to kind of get us started and set the standards of what we're trying to do, as well as the parents. Man, they're all in on what we're trying to do as well and my coaching staff. So the expectation to be great. And um, all of our goal is to build a new school here at Pike. And we want to build something that lasts for a while and not just be a, a, a situation where we just are good for a little short amount of time. We want to sustain a program. And we want to do it the right way. Um, this school is built on the good Lord. And, and man, you see what's going on. It's just nothing I'm doing. It's nothing the people are doing. But we really have favor on us right now. And that we keep continuing to do it that way, it'll keep growing and so it's one thing to just talk about it but it's another thing after you receive the success to actually do the good lord to see the team here to do and so we're going to keep going that way and, and man I, I love the aspect of the cheerleaders on the jv the pv and the rest of the parents pushing forward towards one common goal and doing it on one solid rock and that's been most impressive about this community and the school and the administration and all coach what about come meet the patriots when is that scheduled for the community and parents to come meet the Patriots. Is that coming up? It is it's coming up, but don't hold me to okay. this. Um, you know, right now we're trying to get this construction stuff done. I haven't really got with Mr. Burkett and uh, our sports boosters and see exactly what day is going to be. Okay. So that's why I've been kind of hushing out about it because I don't want to say something to get us all kicked, yes, and get it changed. So uh, we hopefully be finalizing on that in the next week or so, and um, we'll go from there. Well, Coach White, I want to wish you the best of luck to you and your family and to your program, and uh, Pike's blessed. Thank you. Thank you right. so much. We'll have the next coach come up, please. All right, we have with us uh, Ryan McCullough. Ryan McCullough, what uh, positions or what is your responsibility with football? Uh, I handle the offensive line in our running game. Oh, okay. And uh, any key points that you have? Uh, planned or can you elaborate on what type of offense that we might be running or any key players or that you might want to mention? We, we pride ourselves on being a, uh, a multiple offense, a quick pace to fast paced offense. Uh, we can do it through the air. We take pride on doing it on the ground. Um, 
we, we, uh, we pride ourselves on being physical and fast. Okay. Uh, do, what, what subjects do you teach here at Pocket Bar? I teach uh, junior and senior English and literature. Okay. All right, well, this is Ryan McCullough. Good luck to you. Do you do any other sports after uh, football? I'm a football only guy. Okay, football only. All right, can we have our next coach? How you doing, Charlie? Good. Ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, Charlie Schofield. All right, Charlie, what uh, aspect of uh, coaching would you, you be involved in this fall? I'm going to be doing special teams and linebackers this year with okay. varsity. All right, special teams. Who? Who is your snapper, your holder, and your kicker for extra points and field goals? Uh, Are you still a, working on that? We're, we're, that's a work in progress right now. Uh, I think we have some ideas, but it's not set in, okay. set in stone. Okay, and other things that you work with, do you do anything? Uh, so you do tight ends, you said? Special uh, teams? Linebackers. Linebackers. Yes, sir. Oh, Defense. Some defense, you do linebackers yes. and special teams. Um, what other sports are you involved in here at I do junior varsity and varsity basketball as well okay. right now. And what do you teach here? I teach driver's ed and PE. Okay, well good. How can we have our next coach? Good luck to you, coach. All right. I kind of know this next fella, Robin Snyder, a graduate of Goshen High School, and he almost broke all my records there, but anyway. <laughs> Uh, Robin, welcome to Pike Liberal Arts. And, Thank you. Uh, what will you be coaching here? I'll be Pike helping Liberal. on the defense, helping with JV football. Okay. And then, uh, what will you be teaching here, Robin? We're teaching PE. Physical school education. Yeah. So what, uh, anything that you'd like to add about the transition that you've made, I guess, from... Well, I just hope I can come in and help the program. I mean, you know, with, Experience, 25 years experience. I just hope I can come in and help. Coach White and staff have done a great job, obviously, winning the state championship last year. We just hope we can come in and contribute to that. Okay. Well, thank you, Robin. Thank you. I appreciate it. Good morning. Good morning. And your name? Michael Wilcox. Michael Wilcoxon. Uh, Michael, what positions will you be uh, working with here at Pike LeBar? For the coaching defense backs. Defensive backs. All right, where did you play ball? I played at Goshen. I played at Goshen, okay. Now, uh, Michael, if you will, just mention some of the things that you're working with and some of the players that uh, you're trying to develop here at Pike. All right, we're just working on communication right now, working on better ball skills and, you know, just you know, learn to trust each other on the field. Okay. Well, Michael, thank you, and I hope you all have the best of luck this year. And, uh, Make sure you have the right Hickson. And this is can't mess that up. Rush. This is Rush, one of the Hickson brothers, and congratulations on all of last year, and especially it. baseball. And what will you be involved in with football? Uh, wide receivers coach and the passing game coordinator. Okay, and that will be with the varsity level. Yes, sir. And you are the head baseball coach. Yes, sir. What What's your teaching obligations here at Pine Ridge? Last year was physical education. This year I'm moving to eighth grade history. So uh, grade history. it'll be a big transition for me. Okay. Well, I want to thank you all for having Troy Cable here and good luck yes, to sir. you this year. Thank you, Mr. We've got one more. And uh, I believe this is Mr. D. Brundage. How you doing, D? And congratulations on your new assignment as offensive coordinator. Yes, sir. Thank you. And uh, elaborate a little bit, Coach, what uh, what you expect for this football season and the players of 2021. I expect us to have a fun season, fun football season, more competitive. Okay, and uh, as far as offense, you're going to be multiple oriented, passing, running, and yeah, we're, we're multiple offense. We are uh, type of offense is take what the defense gives us, okay. so they can change from the Okay, we're good. Well, listen, thank you, D, and have a good year. And congratulations on your new assignment. Do we have any more coaches? Or we have our trainer. We've got a trainer here for Pike Level Arts, graduate of Troy University. Hello, how are you doing? And good. your name is? Regina Wright. Regina Wright. Uh, Regina, give us a little bit about your background. Where is your hometown and high school, and where did you go to college? So I was born and raised here in Troy, Alabama. I graduated from Charles Henderson. Um, Graduated from Troy, my bachelor's in athletic trainer in 2017. Got my master's in 2019, and I've been 
doing athletic training ever since then. So, so your role is you help all athletic sports here at Pike River Arts, and so right now, currently, you're doing football, volleyball, and cheerleaders are the ones that you're having to deal with on a daily basis now. Correct, yes. Okay. Now, during the day, you're here on staff? Yes. You're here on staff and you're helping in any capacity that you um, can? I'm usually here, like, well, especially during football season, I'm usually here by like 10, 11, and then I just get myself together first, and then I get stuff ready for practice and game days and whatnot. So. Well, Mrs. Miss Wright? Yes, sir. Miss Wright, will Troy University, will they bring staff to help you on Friday night? Uh, yeah, we have a standing contract with them where with their master's program, they can uh, assign different students to each school, so my yes, school and the other schools in the area. And so hopefully we'll have one or two come this season. Well, we're fortunate in this area of Alabama to have Troy University and that kind of um, help uh, during football season and all seasons. But uh, I want to thank you for being on the show and uh, good luck to you and your staff thank you. this fall. Thank you. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, do we have any other coaches? But on behalf of Troy Cable, we'd like to thank Coach White, the athletic director and head football coach for allowing uh, us to come on campus of Troy, uh, not Troy University, but Pike Liberal Arts today. And you can watch this on Troy Cable 2. And uh, we'll be looking forward to Escambia rolling into Troy, Alabama on August the 20th to take on the Pike Liberal Art Patriots. And we'll see you later.